In this tips and tricks video for 3ds Max, I want to talk about the Transform Toolbox. The Transform Toolbox is uh, not new; it exists for some years now, but it's a bit a bit hidden, and it's uh, it's in in many cases um, it's it's overlooked. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go into the Edit menu, and I'm gonna open the Transform Toolbox. So in the Transform Toolbox, you do have tools available for rotation, scaling, uh, aligning your pivot, and cloning your object. So um, rotation is fairly simple. The only thing you need to do is just make a selection. Uh, you can change the uh, rotation incremental uh, value. So if I set it to, uh, let's do 20 degrees, then we have an option for counterclockwise rotation, or uh, clockwise uh, rotation. Um, so that's that's fairly fairly simple uh, for rotating rotating your object, right? Uh, another one is about scaling. So uh, with the size, you are literally scaling your object. So it's always um, challenging scaling objects in 3ds Max uh, due to the way how objects are built. Uh, so you need to be a bit careful with that. So if I want to get the size, so uh, by default the um, the value is set to a size of 20, uh, and I and really want to know what is the size in the in the current Z direction. So if I hit get, I do get all the um, the current dimensions of the object in both x, y, and Z direction. So if I just want to scale it in the Z axis. The only thing you need to do is, is activate the axis, obvious, it's quite obvious, and then set the size. So if I set the size and hit the option uh, set size, then I'm scaling the object and it's scaling in Z direction. Be careful though, uh, because it's a skill and a skill is uh, applied after uh, the modifiers. So it first is base object, then it goes to the modifiers, then it goes into your uh, controllers, and after that, the skill is being applied. So um, be careful with that. Uh, what you can do, though, uh, if you just want to reset the, um, the, the the skill, you can automatically uh, apply a reset X form. So it's gonna it's gonna uh, translate the skill into the object, and it becomes an editable mesh automatically. Um, so that's that that might help. That might help. Uh, another one option, which is also very nice, is the pivot point alignment. In my humble opinion, this is just the fastest way, the quickest way to transform your pivot point. So um, align pivot, I can center it. And as obvious, it's centering my pivot point. I can set it to the origin. So it's gonna go into a world um, uh, uh, coordinate space. So uh, zero, zero, zero. Or I can just start aligning it in one of the axes. So imagine if I set it to minus and it do one x um, similar approach for the y uh, the pivot point will automatically be located in my lower left corner um, and again i can set it back to the uh, to the center if i want um, also another interesting option is cloning the object so if i select an object if i do a q clone i'm just copying cloning the object um, based on the viewport so what i mean by that that is, if I go into a front viewport, so let me go into front, um, and if I start cloning now, I'm cloning in this direction, okay? If I go into a uh, left viewport and clone it again, okay? Uh, switching back into a top viewport and cloning in this direction, and if I now go back into my perspective and let me activate the home position of my grid um, so this is what's happening so based on the on the view itself you're cloning the object so quite nice um, in in many cases the transform toolbox has forgotten by many people was overlooked um, again it's available in the um, in the edit uh, menu of the uh, 3ds max menu bar uh, and it helps a lot 
uh, especially when when relocating your your pivot point. Um, instead of going into the hierarchy tab and affecting your pivot, this is a very very fast approach uh, for different uh, transformations. Thank you.